Thank you for viewing this video covering material storage, tools, and substrate preparation. We will begin by discussing material storage. Store the grail coat powder and liquid out of direct sunlight. The powder requires protection from humidity and any moisture. As the liquid portion contains moisture, do not store it at temperatures below freezing. Tools and materials recommended for grail coat applications. Several five gallon mixing buckets for mixing materials and cleaning tools. The buckets you will use for mixing the grail coat must be clean. A half inch drill and a jiffy drywall mixing blade. This blade is rectangular. A cement mixer will not effectively process the product. You will also need trowels, rasps for ICF walls, and other standard plastering and stucco tools. The green foam float in the upper left corner is used to achieve the sand finish. The corner trowels are very helpful in achieving corners. Substrate preparation. Grail coat can be applied in two ways as a direct applied system or as a drainage plane system. The choice of systems will be determined by the owner, architect, or builder and in accordance with state and local building codes. Make sure the working surface is free of any loose particles, such as dust, chips, or dirt. Pre-fill any joints, gaps, or cracks until the working surface is generally smooth. Cut the mesh to the proper size using a utility knife or scissors. Scissors are generally the best tool for cutting the mesh to size. Be sure to scrape off any loose pieces from the OSB. Plywood or OSB sheets should have a gap between them to allow for expansion. The gap should be about 1 16th inch or approximately the width of a nickel. Skim over imperfections between the foundation and wall and apply flashing tape. Gaps of a quarter inch or more must be pre-filled. Use the gap filler of your choice depending on how large the gap is. Here spray foam is being used to fill the gap. The foam is then trimmed back and the mesh wrapped over the gap. Offset joints must be sanded down to within an eighth of an inch. A belt sander works well for that job. Approved flashing tape should be applied to all seams in wood sheathing to act as an air barrier and to strengthen the seams. A list of approved flashing tapes can be found on our website in our ancillary products list. Some flashing tapes require a primer in order to ensure a good bond. Bullet points for the treatment of windows and doors. Protect rough wood openings. Install windows and doors. Apply flashing tape. Mask off windows and doors. Do not install trim until after the grail coat is applied. Each of these steps will be explained in greater detail as we go forward. Rough openings. If the rough opening is wood, the opening should be protected with peel and stick flashing or with fluid applied flashing, such as Prosco Argard Fast Flash or similar. Apply over the inside of the rough opening and four to six inches over the face of the wall. After the wood opening has been protected, 
The windows and doors should be installed per the manufacturer's instructions by the window contractor. Apply approved peel and stick flashing tape as shown. Mask off all windows and doors. There are two problems here. No protection of the rough wood opening and poor bond of the flashing tape. Remember, some flashing tapes will require a primer before application. Some windows, especially recessed windows, have no flange on which to install flashing tape. These windows should also be installed before the grail coat and be sealed with properly tooled caulk before the grail coat is applied. Banding and trim. The general contractor should not attach the banding or trim until after two coats of grail coat have waterproofed the building. You will notice on this house that the banding is only being installed after there are two coats of grail coat on the substrate. This ensures a watertight building under the banding. The banding has now been installed over the grail coated surface. Make sure that the working surface is free of any loose particles, such as dust, chips, or dirt. Pre-fill any joints, voids, or indentations until the working surface is smooth. Foam Prep For EFS, ICF, EPS, and XPS foam. Remove surface oxidation that might occur with a rasp, creating a rough surface. Make sure that the entire working surface is textured. This will facilitate the grail coat to better bond with the surface. Chalk line all corners, doors, and windows, rasping the corners back to the chalk line. Clean the working surface of all loose particles using the best method available. Damage to the foam, as shown here, must first be repaired before the grail coat is applied. Minimal expanding foam, foam patch, or grail coat can be used for these repairs. Proper prep leads to a beautiful result. This ICF home on Virginia Beach. Drainage plane. Prep for a drainage plane system. A drainage plane or rain screen is a secondary weather moisture barrier through which incidental moisture can be intercepted, conveyed, and drained to the exterior of the cladding system. The use of a drainage plane is recommended, especially when the substrate is wood. Local building codes frequently require a drainage plane. The first step is to protect the substrate with a fluid applied moisture barrier such as Prosoco Argard or house wrap such as Tyvek. Attach the vented edge metal. If using a house wrap instead of a fluid applied moisture barrier, attach now. Attach the MTI drain plane material using EFIS fasteners or similar. Attach the drain plane working from the bottom up, overlapping like shingles. Pictured here is a graphic representation of the grail coat drain plane system. Eve's drain plane system. A drain plane is recommended to be installed beneath the foam of an Eve's application, especially where the underlying substrate is wood or dense glass. We recommend the use of MTI gravity cavity, although fluted foam can also be used. Pictured here is a graphic representation of the grail coat drain plane system for EFS.
Thank you for viewing this Grail Coat video. Be sure to study the complete written application instructions before beginning an application. Don't hesitate to contact your Grail Coat representative with any questions you may have.